you guys have done a, a really good job of um, putting that position. One of the questions that I got uh, from people uh, when I asked on Twitter before we did this was, what is something that you believed in the early days that you have softened your stance on? So something that you believed, you know, very strongly and now either uh, maybe have changed your mind or, or softened your stance. Well, I was, uh, and many people often forget this, but I was actually a big blocker back in the day. Um, I, I thought that, you know, one of the premises of Bitcoin should be that transactions should be cheap. And it wasn't until I actually started working in the space and started having to run a lot of Bitcoin nodes uh, that were then being used by infrastructure uh, that I realized it's not just about the current uh, transaction throughput. It is about the aggregate you know, amount of data that the entire blockchain is storing. And if you allow that to accelerate then it becomes you know, geometrically, if not exponentially more difficult for a newcomer to come in uh, and validate the entire uh, history and be able to set up their own node and infrastructure. So one of the, the issues that I ended up having was with people who were only focused on, you know, what is the hardware that is capable with, you know, keeping up with the current volume of transactions, like how many transactions per second can we do that the hardware can keep up with? Basically, nobody was ever thinking about, well, yeah, but how long does it take to sync from scratch? And so, you know, that's actually one of the projects that I do on an annual basis is I resync a whole bunch of nodes, not only for Bitcoin, but also for other popular networks, just to compare to see like which ones are becoming easier to uh, audit and which ones are becoming more difficult to audit. Speaking of uh, other chains, there was... Uh... I think every shit coiner and every uh, intellectually honest person in the comments of my question asking, uh, we know that he's very uh, bullish and has a deep seated belief in Bitcoin. Is there any other projects uh, in the space that uh, either one you're curious about, think are interesting, uh, or maybe even are, are a, kind of a big believer in? Yeah, so I am, I'm interested in anything that promises better privacy. So I'm interested in things like Monero, Zcash, Grin, uh, you know, any in, insanely out there new like cryptographic primitives that people are playing around with. Uh, these are often far too experimental for us to imagine them being brought onto Bitcoin anytime soon. But um, I would say that the thing that I find least interesting are the, the various networks that claim to be like infinitely scalable with free transactions. Um, I think that that is not being intellectually honest because someone has to pay for it. Ultimately, it's the infrastructure providers. Ultimately, you end up, you know, centralizing around a smaller and smaller number of them. Uh, I think a a good example of that would probably be uh, EOS, which I believe only has like a few dozen validators. And I actually tried uh, to set up an EOS validator just to see, and like it was too difficult even for my beefy machine. So uh, it's interesting to see the trade-offs that, that certain people are willing to make. And, you know, even if you only have a few dozen uh, nodes or whatever on the network, you know, it, you can run it. It'll, it'll probably be fine, um, but the, the trade-offs are not something that I think the majority of people are, are going to be willing to accept. For sure. 